So now we're going to demonstrate how to draw up and inject a uh, intradermal uh, medication. And this is what we call a um, tuberculin syringe. Um, it's typically 1 ml for volume. The gauge is 27. I guess it doesn't have to be very large gauge because we're giving a very small amount. And dermal means you're just going under the epidermis, so you don't need a very large needle. And it should not be that long either. This one's a half an inch for the needle. Um, some you might see um, maybe 5 eighths, but half an inch is pretty standard. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and open it so you can see what the um, actual syringe looks like. So you can see that 1 ml is the total dose here. So you've got the zero point in tenths and then you get to the one ml. So this is a very small um, needle, okay? Or syringe, I should say. Okay, so once we are uh, ready to draw it up, typically we have to, if we're giving a PPD or a TB test like we're doing right now, um, our choice would be the forearm. And the forearm you can typically, um, you know, if you, if you use your fingers and, and draw like an imaginary box right here, that is approximately where you can give it in that, in that area, okay? Um, the other place that you may see intradermals is in the, between the scapula or the shoulder blades. Um, that's not used very often. Um, majority of time it's used for allergy injections for people that have allergy shots um, and they're doing testing. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw this, draw this up. Like before, we're going to make sure we draw up our medication dose before we do our medication checks. So again, we want to verify that we have our actual, actual PPD and the right amount. So the typical dose for a, a PPD is a standard dose, and usually that is 0 0.1 for our dose, 0 0.1 ml. Okay. So it's not very much. So I'm going to go ahead and... Let me just put this down so you can see it better. I'm going to go ahead and scrub the top of my vial of medication. Um, if I miss to wash my hands, make sure you wash your hands first. Okay, good. And like the other medications, we are going to make sure that we drop air. So again, this is just going to be 0 0.1 for our amount of volume. So you can see where the top of the plunger is right at the 0 0.1. And then now we're going to go ahead and inject the air. Put the air in and then we can bring this up. It's at eye level so you can see your exact, I got to kind of look because my eyes are reflecting. So now we drew up 0 0.1 of our PPD. Okay. So once we have that, we can cap our syringe safely and um, we can go ahead and do our checks. Two checks here and then our third check will be at the bedside. Great. Hi. Hi, Hi, Sylvia. Good morning. I'm Mary and I am a student nurse from CVTC and I'm here to um, provide you with a tuberculin skin test. Um, so this is required of the facility that you're in. Mm -hmm. um, and do you kind of understand why we're doing this? Mm -hmm. Okay. I just need to go ahead and verify your full name and date of birth, please. Okay. Sylvia Vasquez, 130-1966. Okay, very good. That matches my uh, MAR. And do you have any allergies that you're aware of? No. Okay, very good. So now this is going to be given in your forearm. Um, so as long as you're closest this way, we're going to go ahead and use your left forearm. Okay. And again, this is done just underneath the epidermis, so I am not going to be um, putting my needle at a very big angle, probably about a 15 degree angle as I go in. I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and assess my site, make sure I'm avoiding any open areas, scratches, bruises, lumps, or bumps. I'm going to make sure I have a nice, uh, clean, and even site. And I'm going to go ahead and prep the site by cleaning it. Okay, and we'll let that dry. Okay, and when I'm ready to, um, I'll just let it dry just a little bit more. And then when I am ready, I'm going to go ahead and make sure my bevel is up. 
and you also want to make sure that you pull the skin taut um, while you're giving the injection because the skin tends to roll when you put in a needle so you want to make sure it's pulled very taut okay all right you will see some nurses or places they might pull it up here however i like to go below because i don't want my hand in front of my needle in case i slip so i usually pull it back on the bottom so you're going to make it nice and taut make sure your bevel is up like i said you don't want to go real deep you just want to go in at about a 15 degree angle 15 degree and kind of um, make it just a little perpendicular almost go in about an eighth of an inch since this isn't real skin, it's a little difficult. Once you get in, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna inject. And then you have a little blub there. You're gonna pull out your needle. The blub went away because it's fake. Um, but then you're gonna go ahead and engage your safety. Make sure that you dispose of that. Um, never, <clears throat> I should get in front of the camera. Never um, put a Band-Aid over your site. Um, never put pressure or massage it. You want that blood to stay as is because you don't want to interfere with it. So if it is bleeding a little bit, you can dab it with a cotton um, gauze, but otherwise don't bother it at all. Inform the patient that they should return in 48 to 72 hours to have that red to see if they reacted to that, um, that medication that was put in there and um, just give them a little reminder that, that they have to do that. Everything feel okay? Mm -hmm. Great. So we're all done with your TB skin test.